Let's begin our practice by coming down onto the mat in a reclined posture. Take it. Spread your feet apart and your arms a little away from the side of the body. And we'll start with a breath practice. Feeling the weight of the body landing here and finding your breath in your body and filling up. Holding a bit at the top and then slowly releasing. When the navel is in, holding at the bottom and then inhaling. So this is a four part breath. Breathing in, holding, breathing out, holding. Follow your own breath. Inhale, hold, Exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, and exhale and allowing the breath to resume its natural cycle. Just resting the attention on the breath and attempting to let go a bit. That's surrendering, yielding. Bring the attention over the heart. Feel the untangling. softening of the heart and taking a moment to set an intention for your practice whatever is right for you asking for more presence and then when you're ready lengthen out a little bit in a stretch maybe bringing your arms overhead a bit lengthening through toes to fingertips and then draw your knees in towards your chest. And draw a few circles on the back, making sure the low back is comfortable. Holding on to the left knee, let the right leg go long and lengthen up the back of that left leg. A little bit of a hamstring stretch there. You might have a little bit of tightness in the legs because we're just starting practice. So bring that right knee in, left leg goes long. And lengthen up the back of that right leg. A couple circles with the ankle in both directions. And then draw both knees in and let them rock a little bit left and right. Make your elbows go out to the side so it supports you a little bit as you rock back and forth. Keeping the knees about over the hips or the shins parallel to the earth. And then rock over one way or the other and come up to a seated posture and we'll begin our practice from the seated posture now. I'm sitting on a block but feel free to go ahead and make yourself comfortable in a crisscross position if you prefer with your legs folded in front of you. Lengthen up through the crown of the head and then gently let your right ear drift to your right shoulder and slowly drift the chin towards the chest and then the left ear to the left shoulder and slowly coming back feeling the back of the neck stretching out just a bit and coming back to center chin to chest roll the shoulders forward lift up the crown a couple times with the shoulder rolls just really arriving and then bring the palms or the fingertips to the forehead 
Feel the length of the neck. Press the forehead into the hands, the hands into the forehead for two and one. And then bring the right, the left hand to the side of the head and press the hand into the head and the head into the hand for three, two, one. And then switching sides, press and three, two, one. And then both hands to the back of the head, pressing hand into head and head into hands for three, two, one. And soft and release. Bringing the attention to the shoulders and lengthening out through the fingertips. Roll the thumbs back so you feel those shoulder blades drawing together. Then drop that right hand to the mat and sweep over in a side stretch. Feel the ribs opening up here. <sighs> Breathing into that, sweep over, come to the side bend on the other side. Inhale through the center, exhale side bend. Inhale through the center and exhale side bend. Coming back up to the center, drop that right hand to the mat. And let the left hand go up, sweep it open so the chest is open and then rotate and bring it down next to the, the right hand. Feel that twist in the spine or maybe to the outside of the, of the knee or the leg. Inhale, reach it open again. Exhale, twist. Coming off to the other side, plant that hand behind you and reach the right hand up. Let the heart open and exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale and twist. And then coming back to center and just checking in with how your spine and upper body feels. And then let's come over onto our hands and knees. All righty. Start with a little cat cow just to warm up the spine here. So dropping the belly just a bit and Bidhi Lasana. Toes are tucked. Exhale. Marjorie Asana or cat pose. Let's back to mob. Just find what's comfortable for you as you explore these two poses back and forth. Two or three times. And sometimes swaying the hips a little to one side or the other or pushing the ribs out a little bit to one side or the other can also feel good. The spine likes to move in every direction. Hands come one hand print forward. Drop the hips forward and lift the heart. Exhale, push the hips back, lengthen fingertips to tailbone. Floating forward in plank. And exhale, lift up to down dog. Feel the heels drop just a little bit for a calf stretch there. Inhale forward to plank. Let the knees come down, push back towards child. Inhale forward with a lift. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, push it back. We're warming up the body just a bit. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time through that, coming forward plank. Drop the knees, child's pose. Inhale, coming forward, squeeze the glutes, lift the heart. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, coming forward, plank. Exhale, down dog. Pedal out the heels just a bit. And then bring yourself to plank and the knees down. Hands come right underneath the shoulder points. We'll take a balance table now. Press that right heel straight back, the left thumb to the sky. This is an important exercise for the back, one of the most important. Feel that lift in the back body, lengthen through the crown, inhale and lift. Exhale, sweep off center. Inhale, lengthen and away. Inhale, lengthen and away. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coming home, cleansing breath. Push the left heel out, right thumb to the sky. Feel that nice, firm back body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep off center. Inhale, lengthen. And away. 
lengthen and away lengthen and bring it home now if you have two blocks I'm going to encourage you to use those if you don't have a block that's okay you can work with that too we're going to do a few um, push-ups so bring the blocks relatively close together then let your hips come forward and just on the knees we're going to just take a little push up here on the knees so squeeze the glutes soften the elbows a little and push up soften and push up breathing with it one more then move the blocks or your hands out just a little bit wider so we get a little wider push up okay feel the shoulder blades landing on the back squeeze glutes lengthen out from knees to shoulders and soften down and up inhale and up inhale and up one more and of course if you're strong enough you're always welcome to do it on your totes but whichever way works for you and then setting your blocks aside we're going to go ahead and come back with our heels together into a little bit of a soul stretch so plant your hands on the mat push your heels back to lengthen the soles of the body of the feet and then walk your hands towards your knees coming up into your squat and we'll lift our hips and let your feet be right underneath the hip point so maybe just a little space between the feet and lengthen into your forward fold let the crown of the head come down nodding gently inhale for a half lift exhale fold soften the hips land in the heels bring the hands to your heart come down in your squat push the heels apart the knees apart and then lift up open up the big Y with the hands squeeze the glutes lift the heart inhale here exhale return to that squat push the heels away from each other and the knees away from each other as you lower into your squat inhale open up arms and heart squeeze the glutes exhale come down to the squat we're going to do five of these this is number three inhale up two more inhale four and exhale inhale five and release great job okay little shake out here get ourselves comfortable and we'll just bring all our weight to the right foot and open up into our star and then from star draw some circles with your foot see how that feels and then switch directions And then gently land on the other foot and draw some circles with the right foot and switch direction Our floating star alrighty bring yourself back down and let's come to the top of the mat for a little flow so letting your feet be parallel to each other and parallel to the edge of the mat feel the weight in the heels and lengthen on up through the spine stacking the joints finding your breath on the exhale narrowing the throat just a little bit for that ujjayi breath we're going to start with drinking bird so inhale raise the arms up exhale like a drinking bird drop the hands down and back up over the body over the back inhale coming back to the top exhale bobble down inhale lift it up exhale down and now inhale and sweep into your chair so the hands come forward and up land into your heels feel the weight in the heels pressing away from each other and breathing here one more breath 
exhale and fold. Halfway lift, feel the length in the spine. Feel the inner thigh spin a bit to the back wall. Lengthen through the tailbone to the crown. Exhale, fold and step back on the right. Bringing that right knee down and untucking the toes. We're gonna come to that low lunge. So let your weight come forward towards that left heel. You can have the arms straight up or a little out to the side works as well. Leaning the hips forward, stretching here on that front of that hip flexor. And then exhale and come into that hurdler stretch. So lengthen out through the back of that left leg. You might draw the toes up a bit. Now we'll walk our hands forward to that runner's lunge, tucking the back toes. Press the heel back, but still lifted. Bring the left elbow to the left knee, and then raise up with that right arm. So you're really lengthening from that whole front of that right side body, lifting and opening in front of the hip flexor, etc. Exhale and bring the hands down, and this time bring it to a block. So you can take a pyramid pose, half step the back foot forward just a little. Let the left hip draw back for pyramid. Both heels are pointing to six o'clock, two lanes of traffic. The back is flat, the heart lowering towards the front knee, a little space between the top of the left thigh and the abdomen. I'm breathing here for two or three breaths. Soften the front knee, walk the hands over in a tripod. So out from the standing foot and come to your standing split. So you look back behind you and lift that right foot up in the sky. Breathing. And then gently lowering that back foot down for your runner's lunge and stepping the left foot Back to meet the right, coming to your plank. Feel your plank for a moment and then take your knees down, chest down, elbows in, raise the heart up, cobra. Exhale, push it to down dog. Inhale the right foot up, bend the knee, stack the hips. Bring that right knee behind the right wrist for pigeon. And I like to use a block for my pigeon. Slide that shin forward a bit. Keep the ankle flexed. Lengthen out of the right hip right up through the spine. Breathing for three, two, and one. And then go ahead and plant the hands down and push that right foot back up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and stack the hips. And then step that right foot forward and take your runner's lunge twist. So lift up the back kneecap. As you rotate the heart towards the right knee and the right hand to the sky, three breaths. Bring the right hand down and step to forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reach the hands behind you and sweep into your chair. And push on up and release. Very good. Let's take those moves on the other side. So finding your mountain, get yourself comfortable in your mountain posture. Feel the weight of your body landing in the heels. We'll start with that drinking bird again. Inhale the arms up. 
Feel that length in your body from the heels all the way to the fingertips. Exhale, floating down. Hands reach up over the back. Sweep it on up. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale up. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale up. Exhale, drinking bird. Sweep into your chair, land in the heels. Arms float up, press the heels apart, breathing for three, two, one, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and step back on the left, letting that left knee down. And let the hips sink towards that forward heel. Opening the front of the left hip flexor here. Exhale and fold. Draw that right hip back for that hurdler stretch. Toes towards the nose. Can be quite an intense stretch there, can't it? And then walk the hands forward. We're coming into that runner's lunge. So tuck the back toes, lift the knee, place the right elbow on the knee and then lengthen out through that hip flexor and up through the arm, stretching it open. Three breaths here. And then bring the hands down to a block on the inside of that right foot, or yeah, right foot, half step with the left foot forward, coming to pyramid. Lengthen through the back of the right leg. Draw the heart towards the knee and pyramid. Good stretch here. One more breath. Walk the hands over, tripod out for a nice standing split. Lift yourself, the hip in particular pelvic bone right out of the hip so you have some length in that leg. Two or three breaths. And then gently coming back to your runner's lunge. Set your block aside and step back for your plank. Taking a flow here, knees, chest, chin. Elbows in. Inhale, roll the heart up. Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Bend the knee and stack the hips. And then sweep that left knee right behind the wrist. Coming into your pigeon on this side. And bring the shin forward a little bit. And you'll notice for me, that makes my knee lift up off the mat just a bit, but that's okay. Still gives me a good stretch in the outer left hip is where we're looking for the stretch. So just working with your body as it lands. Breathing for three, two, one more breath. And then plant your hands down. Push that left foot back up to the sky for three-legged dog. You can stack your hips again. And then step it forward. Bring it right back between the hands for your runner's lunge twist. The right hand goes down, the left hand goes to the sky. Take a moment to feel the feet spreading away from each other and the back knee lifting. Drawing it right up the thigh, the kneecap. Bring that left hand down. Frame the foot and step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel the spine lengthen out. Exhale, fold. Let go in the neck. Inhale, sweep into your chair. Lower the hips, lift the heart. Press the heels apart. And push it on up and release. How you doing? Hopefully well.
as we're practicing our, our flow. Okay, let's come to the top of the mat. We'll do another flow. Just a few changes this time as we try out a little more crescent lunge in there. So some challenges, but still a lot of the same flow, just stretching out our legs. Landing in your mountain. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, raising it up. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale up, drinking bird. Sweep into your chair. Two breaths. And fold. Step back on the right, coming to your runner's lunge. Spread the feet apart. Place that right hand on the right knee like we did on our first flow. Press the feet apart, lift up through that left hand. Feel that stretch along the front of that left hip. Now keep holding a focus point and raise that right arm as well, coming to your crescent lunge. This can be a balance challenge, so make sure and keep your eyes on a focus point. Breathing here. And we're gonna take a twist. So bring the left hand to the right knee and twist that arm back. And if that feels like it's not quite right for you, you can also think about bringing the elbow over the knee and taking more of a prayer twist, okay? And either one of those are gonna be okay. Some form of a twist. Inhale back to crescent lunge. Exhale, fold. And step that right foot back to meet the left. Taking a flow here, knees down, elbows in, chest and chin. Inhale, roll the heart up and exhale, come to down dog. Inhale the left foot up, stack the hips and bend that knee. We're gonna to come to extended leg side plank. So bring that left knee under the body and push that left foot out in front of you as the right hand comes to the sky. Also known as fallen triangle, three breaths. As you bring the right hand down, let that left foot go back up into fire hydrant pose. Lengthen out the left foot and bring it forward for runner's lunge. Plant your right hand next to that left foot and turn the heart towards the knee. Runner's lunge or dragonfly twist for three breaths. Bring the left hand down, and on the exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and fold. Soften the hips, hands behind you, sweep into your chair, bring your hands to your heart. Lower down, push it up, go out in a Y, and squeeze the glutes like we did at the beginning here. Exhale, come down into your squat, hands to heart. Inhale, open it up and release. Great job. All right. Coming down to the other side of our mat for that same flow on the other side, but take a few breaths. Feel yourself settle here, the weight of your body and your feet. And bring your attention to the breath in the body. Drinking in that sweet breath. Letting a bit of tension out of the body as we balance between hard work and relaxation. That unwinding. When you're ready, feel your heels in the mat. Press them apart a little bit. Drinking bird, inhale. Exhale, fold, arms come up over the back. Inhale up, 
Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up last time. Exhale, fold. Arms up and then come into your chair. Lifted heart. Heels landing, pushing away from each other. Exhale and fold. Step back on the right. Coming to your lunge on this side. Plant the left elbow on the left knee. Lengthen out through that right side, lifting the right arm. Feel the front of the right hip opening up as you draw the right kneecap up. Press the right heel a little bit back, but lift it. For a couple breaths here. Then hold a focus point and rise all the way to crescent. One more breath. And then find your way into a twist of some side, some sort on this side. So twisting towards the right knee. Beautiful. Sweeping back to crescent. Exhale, fold. And step back for your flow. Starting in plank. And then come to knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Stay a breath in cobra. Feel the back body active. Soften, tuck the toes. Push the hips back and up. Down dog. Inhale, raise the right foot up. Come into that fire hydrant pose. Flex the ankle on the right foot. Exhale, bring that foot forward and under the body. Extended side angle or fallen triangle. Lifting up through the left hand and the left side body. Lots of breath here in that side body. Returning to fire hydrant. Lengthen out through the right leg and bring that foot forward for your runner's lunge twist. The left hand stays down. Draw the kneecap up on the left. Lengthen from that left heel through the crown as you rotate the heart towards the right knee. Stack the shoulders. Spread the fingers. Bring the right hand down. Exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the right knee as you rotate towards the left foot. Place the right hand on the left ankle, the left hand on the right hip. Lengthen out that left leg. Gently rotate over towards the right leg. Soften the left knee, straighten the right. The left hand is on the right ankle. The right hand on the right hip. Rotate the heart towards the knee and breathe. Coming back to forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Feel that spine lengthen. Feel the shoulder blades lean down. The navel come in. Fill the belly. Exhale, scoop it in. Fill the belly. Scoop it in. Fill the belly. Exhale and fold. Let your hips lower, reach the hands behind you, and then come up into your squat. With your hands, maybe prayer in a chair, as low as is comfortable for you. Squeeze the glutes, lift, spread through the hands, lift the heart. Exhale, return to your squat. As low as is comfortable for you. If your heels are lifting off the mat, then stop there. Inhale, squeeze it up. One more time down. Inhale, rise and shine. And release. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Okay, coming to the top of your mat, bring all the weight to the outside foot, and then just step nice and wide so you've got a full stride in you, okay? 
Let your heels come out just a little further than the toes, but have a good length between your heels. So approximately the distance of one leg. And then just squeeze the glutes a little bit to open up the front of the hip flexors here. And then we're gonna start by coming off to the uh, left side of our body or the right side for you of your body. So bring the toes to that short edge of the mat and drop the knee into our warrior two position. Okay, back toes are at three o'clock, front toes at 12 o'clock and then float the arms out for warrior two. And let the gaze just go off over that middle finger into infinity. The arms are like parallel to the edges or to the earth, but the spine is perpendicular. The shoulders soften. Keep lowering the hips to whatever degree is comfortable. Two or three breaths here. Notice the breathing in the low abdomen. Fill the belly and exhale, bring it in. Rotate that front hand up and come to your reverse warrior for three breaths. Straighten that front leg. Coming up to reverse triangle. Three breaths. Let your breathing slow down a bit. And then tip on over to triangle posture. And I'm gonna encourage you to take a block here. Place it right on the outside of that left ankle. Plant your hand on it and then come into trikonasana from here. Now if that's a little bit too much of a stretch for you, you feel free to bring your hand to the inside of the leg wherever is comfortable for you, okay? And just breathe with it, keep lengthening out that front leg and try and create a little space between the top of the left thigh and the abdomen. Draw that left hip back. Now we're gonna come into half moon. So take the block and take it right out on a diagonal from that front foot, and then let yourself float that back foot up, flex the ankle, stack the hips, and rotate out for half moon for three breaths. Gently coming back to warrior two. So bend that front knee and just land that foot coming into your warrior two. Softening in the shoulders. They like to scrunch up around the ears. So just let them go down a bit. Find that breath in the low belly and even the pelvic floor. Draw it in on exhale. Front palm goes up. Reverse warrior. Reach for heaven and sky and the earth. Breathing. Bring that left elbow to the, or the right elbow to the right knee. Reaching that other hand up, extended side angle. A little bit over the ear here. And then bring that hand down to a block and take a side lunge here, lowering the hips even further, stretching the inner thigh on that back leg, getting a good stretch for yourself. And then lift up, turn both toes towards the long edge of the mat. The heels go out long and let the hips be high, leaning back as the head comes down into a bit of an inversion. And then gently walk your hands to the back of your mat. Turn the toes of the back foot to 12 o'clock. So a warrior two footing, bend that knee, sweep the hands up. There we go. Warrior two on this side. Same position, toes at nine o'clock on the back foot, 12 o'clock on the front foot. Settle in for three breaths. And 
Then take and rotate that front palm up and come into your reverse warrior, three breaths. Let the hips sink to whatever degree feels good for you. Keep that knee over the ankle. Try and keep it in line with the second toe. Straighten the knee. Reverse triangle. Give the little break to the quad. Let it breathe and soften a bit. Get yourself nice and long, right through the spine, through the arms, and tip over to Trikonasana. Take your block if you have it available to you. The outside of that ankle and let it help you open up. Rotate the arms to the side. Lift the heart. Breathing for two or three breaths here. Let your attention come into the body. Feel as you slowly transition to half moon. Floating up the back foot, flexing the ankle, stacking the hips. Slow and with intention and breath. Let the back foot come down. Return to warrior two. Sometimes I need to heel toe the back foot back a little bit as I land, but find what works for you. You might feel a little more fatigue coming into the body. Just use the breath to re-energize you and to be kind. Reverse warrior. Reach for sky, reach for earth. Draw the navel in with exhale. Extended side angle, land the elbow on the knee, reach that arm up. And let the hand come over the ear. And then take your block to the inside of that left, sorry, right foot and lower the hips for that side lunge. Getting a good stretch here as those hips lower, inner thigh stretches. Two or three breaths here. Straighten that leg, turn the toes to the long edge of the mat. Let them heel toe apart to that full straddle. Hands underneath the gaze. Let the tailbone reach back, fingers crawl forward. Bring the hands under the gaze, heel toe the feet to a three quarter stride. Drop the hips and come up into your goddess squat. Elbows up at the level of the shoulders. Feel the heels and knees press apart and breathe. Push into the heels and release. And let it go. Release any tension in the body, shaking out the arms and the legs. Very good practice. Let's come to the top of our mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift and fold. And bring yourself down onto the mat to a seated posture and then reclining. And make sure your block is within reach. We'll come down into a bridge first. So bring your heels up right behind your glutes, land the heels. Spread the toes, exhale the back to the mat and roll the spine up. Coming to your bridge for three breaths. Draw the knees towards each other, squeeze the glutes, press the heels and shoulders away. 
slowly unwind the spine and bring your hands right underneath the sacrum so they give a little support to the low spine. And let the heels rise up. We'll slowly lower the legs about a third of the way and breathing. A third of the way down, squeeze the glutes a little bit and breathing. And the rest of the way down, keep squeezing the glutes, keep the small of the back towards the mat. If it is not, draw the knees in towards the chest and breathe. I'll lift up a third. And a third. And a little bit more. Bring the heels right behind the glutes again for another bridge. When you're ready, roll on up. Press the heels and the shoulders away from each other for three breaths. Roll it down, support the tailbone with the hands right underneath the spine. You can kind of make a triangle with the hands. And this time, press your feet out at about 45 degrees and sweep them in a smile from left to right and right to left. Find your breath here and make it slow. the low spine tight to the earth. Couple more. Breathing. One more. Bring the heels back in. Our last bridge. Roll it up and breathe. And slowly roll it down, bringing your tailbone towards the heels and your knees in towards the chest. Couple circles on your back, one direction and then the other. Take your block and as you bridge up again, slide the block underneath the sacrum, roll the shoulders under a bit, float the knees and then the heels. Coming into Vipariti Karani, legs up the wall. And you can stay there or bring your left knee into the chest and then draw some circles with the right knee. Only do this if this feels steady for you. If it starts to make you feel unsteady, then just balance on on the uh, block and switching direction getting a little hip range of motion and then bring the right knee in and do that with the left leg and switch direction putting both heels back to the sky and drifting apart Stretching for the corners of the room. And then letting the knees come back towards the chest. And the heels towards the earth. Let the hands come out in cactus. The soles of the feet together and the knees spreading wide in a floating goddess. Find the breath. And just letting that front body open and receive, letting go. Untangling of the heart.
when you're ready, letting the knees come back together, bridging up a bit, sliding the block out from underneath you. Draw the knees back into the chest for a few circles. Let the right knee go long and take the left knee across the body, reaching it out in front of you as the left arm goes behind you with the gaze. Take a breath in and release in that long spinal twist. Gently lifting that left leg back up through center. Bring the right knee in. Left leg goes long. Gently bring the left leg across the body and reaching out to the, the right leg out to the left. And the gaze uh, going towards the right hand to the right. Out behind you. And breathe. And let go. One more breath. Gently folding that right leg and bringing it back over the body, back to center. And we'll unwind now into our final resting posture called Shavasana. So our arms and legs come a little bit away from the sides of the body or from each other. Let the uh, arms be a little away from the sides of the body with your hands rolled up in a gesture of acceptance. And take a moment to feel the weight of the body just being present here now. Take a nice full breath in. And on the exhale, softening through the shoulders, through the chest, the abdomen, the hips. The arms and legs becoming heavy. Drink in another full breath. On the exhale, from the crown, feeling the face softening through the eyes, the face, the lips, the chin, the neck, softening. Drink in another breath. Let it wash out of you from crown all the way through the body to the toes. Exhaling, releasing. Feel the breath now returning to natural, inhaling and exhaling. Perhaps envisioning a rocking chair and you're in the rocking chair on the inhales, rocking back. And on the exhale, rocking forward. Nice and slow. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Letting the body land, getting weighty, untangling any tension that resides over the chest or heart. This is the time for peace, for letting go of just for a few moments. No place to go and nothing to do. No one to be outside of who you are already. You are perfectly you. So beautiful and good. Resting on the breath now for a few breaths.
beginning to drink in a little bit more breath. Sensing fingers and toes. Perhaps bringing your hands to your heart for a moment and just checking in with your intention. And when it's right, draw your knees in towards your chest. Make a circle or two on your back. and forth. And whenever you're ready, bring yourself to a seated posture for us to close our practice time together. Bringing your hands to heart center. Thank you for your attention, for your practice, and for your presence. May you have a beautiful week. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you, friends, for joining me, and have a beautiful week. I look forward to you practicing again with me. Bye-bye.